Hi, I'm Doug with Andriots. Today's project is painting a panel door. This particular door exhibits all the same problems that we see. I won't say all the same problems, uh, but typical problems that many homeowners have with a panel door. The first thing starts with just the product choice. So if we have a paint that is hard to brush or apply, we're gonna end up with these brush marks. And if the paint is drying quickly during application, you'll see when the paint was brushed in this section, then they came back and brushed this section. And so we can just see once this paint starts stiffening, we get all the typical brush marks. These brush marks are going every direction. So we're gonna show you two things. One, how to eliminate those brush marks uh, and what to do if you have them in your existing door. So this door is gonna get repainted. If we simply repaint this door without getting rid of these brush marks, these brush marks are so thick in here that one coat of paint's not gonna bury them, it'll actually mirror it. So if we don't have a smooth finish to start with, we're not gonna get a smooth finish to end up with. So we're gonna look at a couple other areas of the door that are always an issue. When we look at this edge, so this is the edge that's the inside of the house. So we always try to decide what color do we paint this side versus the outside when we have a different color on the surface. So in this case, the white door, when the white door is open, you're gonna see that with the white side, which is the underside. So typically, the hinge side would be what is on the inside of the door, or the lock side, and then the hinge side will be what's on the outside of the door. When the door is open, you'll see the outside color with that. Small issue, but, so we can see here where they've tried to paint this edge. What we really wanna do is tape this. So we're gonna use a painter's tape on the edge. We do see here another area, a lot of this paint has come off. So this would be from a previous paint job where several paint jobs. And if what's, if what's on the door is not sticking, then what we put on it is not gonna stick. So we need to address this with a little bit of sandpaper. Um, we have some pits and things here where I'm not sure what happened here. This was just an old existing door. Um, so we need to smooth this out because again, this would mirror through. And then we have our hinges removed here. So again, you see all the typical brush marks in this hinge area. These hinges have been removed, so it's gonna be easy to a continuous flow of paint, and we're not gonna have these directional brush marks. Actually, we're gonna eliminate the brush marks. The simplest way you can do it is eliminate the brush. So we're gonna use a roller. And typically, um, we're gonna use one of two roller covers. We have the Red Feather from Wooster, and this is like a velour type cover. Um, that's gonna give a very smooth finish. It's not gonna put a lot of paint on. So this is gonna be when we're two coating, we can put two thin coats on with this red feather. That's my best advice. We can also look at the big green or a foam type of roller. So the foam roller also preferred by some people. Both of these rollers will give a little bit of a roller texture, but we have the door laying flat. So any texture that we get in it is gonna level out with gravity. So. Our best advice, number one, if you're doing a door, try to lay the door down flat. If the door can't be removed, then you'll paint it in place and we'll show a different technique. So we're gonna look at a couple other tools here. We talked about the tape. So everybody knows the typical blue painter's tape. Throw it away. We don't have any use for blue, okay? The only tapes we need is three tapes. One is our frog tape yellow. This is for delicate surfaces. And this has actually got what they call paint blocking technology. So there's actually an additive that is put around the edge of the, of the roll. It's a little powder. And so when we mask off and the moisture hits the powder, this small amount of powder that will be here, it'll actually seal the edge of the, edge of the tape. So this is self-sealing. So if you're using water-based paint and you want self-sealing lines, this will give you the cleanest lines possible. Now the green tape is a little aggressive. So if we have a surface that maybe had a paint problem, like this door, we can even take the green tape up here and we can put it on some of this. Cut and start. And so, see I'm seeing a little of this paint come off. Now this is not a bad indication on the green tape because it's not that aggressive. So this paint is, is really, I can scratch it off my finger. But, if the paint comes off with tape, it really needs to come off before we paint. But we would use the delicate tape if we were worried about it pulling tape. So I may use the yellow tape here, and what we'll do is we'll just mask this real little lip here. Instead of having all this irregular line, 
I'm gonna get it right on that lip and that gives a natural break so we're gonna bring that color on down to there okay <laughs> 